Okay, so start the child's pose. I'll get you moving and then just be like, something just happened to you and then it's over. Right. <laughs> okay, good. She'll just, she's very excited. We have to make a little room for her. I'm going to move this. Um, okay, so go into a child's pose. I think she can go here. This is a good spot, right? Yeah. Let your lower back spread. Energetically reach your arms forward. Oh my God, I'm so happy. It's so good. So proud of you. Connect to your breath. So the goal is just to move and breathe this morning and to feel good on our mats, kind of shake it out. Find a little bit of more extension through your hands. Yeah. And then with that, see if you can spread your lower back a little bit more, feel your outer triceps begin to kind of grip in and create a lift of your forearms up off the mat. So your arms are set up for like a down dog, but you're not quite there yet. Press up onto all fours into a tabletop position. Yeah, bring your weight forward. So your weight's gonna come forward. So it looks like this, so there's a shift forward. So your knees are a little behind you and then lower just halfway, fix your eyes. And you could take a micro push up too if this is just not in the cards. Restraighten your arms, sit back on your heels, child's pose. And when you sit back, see if you can find more extension. Good. On the breath, come forward to this baby tabletop, curl the toes into the mat, rock your weight forward, lower halfway supported push up. Restraighten your arms to a supported plank, uncurl your toes, sit your butt back down, spread your lower back and lengthen, child's pose. So come forward into the baby tabletop, curl the toes into the mat, bring the weight forward two or three inches, halfway down to a supported push up. Restraighten with control, uncurl the toes, place the feet back, back down, slide the seat back, child's pose. One more, come forward, curl the toes into the mat, bring your weight more forward, lower halfway down, restraighten to supported plank, good. Lift the kneecaps to a plank position and pause. Fix your eyes on one spot right here, bring your weight forward, broaden across the collarbone and the chest, Connect. Yeah, the little bugs, feel free to kill them. Hips up and back down dog. And you're gonna start to sweat because I practiced outside yesterday afternoon and I was like, holy moly. It's, but let it just happen. Just let it kind of fly off. It's all good. You can jump on a chicken after and take a ride. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Take up a little bit more space on the mat. Yeah. Spread your toes wide and you may need to bend behind your knees. I practiced the day after flying and it was like I was the tin man. And then two days later, practiced again. And I was like, okay, now we're back in action. So sometimes it just takes a little bit, even if you've just driven in the car for an hour. Roll forward to plank. Yeah, like an ocean wave. And when you come forward, lock the navel to the back of the spine, hug your outer hips in. Feel the shoulders kind of pull away. Yeah. Lead a little with your chest. Now, lower halfway to a supported push up or a regular push up, depending on what's in the cards for you today. Good. Re straighten your arms to plank, hips up and back down dog. Roll forward plank position all the way forward. Halfway down to a push up chaturanga. Drag yourself to an up dog or cobra this time, depending on what sensitivity in the lower back. Press evenly through your hands and the tops of the feet. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Take a full breath out, let it go. Look to the top of the mat. You can step, step, you can crawl, you can walk as many steps as you need to get there. You can hop long spine when you arrive. Feet can be a little separated this morning. Hands can also come to the front of your shins. But find the extension on the long spine and look forward and pause. Bring your weight forward. 
And then exhale, fold into yourself. Root to rise, come all the way up. Yeah, don't get a head rush. Ooh, I know that always happens. Drag the hands to prayer, drop your arms and just stand for a sec. So just moving easily through these sun salutations because it's like thick molasses out here, okay? Arms slide straight up towards the sky, look up. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips to set it up. Step, step to plank. Just one, two, back to a plank. Lower halfway down to a push-up chaturanga. Pull yourself through an up dog or cobra. You pick what feels best in your body, okay? Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Good, spread your palms wide. Breathe your hips way up off your shoulders this morning. Look to the top of the mat. You can step, step, you can float your feet there this morning. When you arrive, long spine, keep the weight forward. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. You can go out and up, you can go straight up. Drag your hands to prayer, drop your arms. So nice and simple, arms straight up towards the sky, look up. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips to prepare. You can step, step. So when I step, step, I try to alternate which leg I step back, if you could remember. Up dog pulls you through. So you're adding your push up, then your up dog. Good, hips up and back, downward facing dog. So you can give or take, you can take out what you need. You can add in more, you can subtract. That's what's great about the sun salutations and the vinyasa flow. Look where you wanna go, step or float, top of mat, get their light. Long spine, keep your weight forward, exhale, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up, anchor. Drag your hands to prayer at heart, drop your arms. Slide the arms straight up towards the sky, go big. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips to prepare. You can step, you can float. If you know you can hop back easily into a low push up, go for it. Up dog pulls you through, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Take a full breath out. I made you a little, little shady spot right here. Arms stay nice and straight. Look where you wanna go, step or float to the top. Get there nice and light. Long spine, keep the weight forward. Exhale, fold. Here, why don't you go this way? Yeah. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag your hands to prayer, drop your arms. So here we go again. Arms slide straight up towards the sky, go big. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips to set it up. Step, step, float through a vinyasa. So adding or subtracting the push ups, the back bends, press through the hands, the tops of the feet, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Take a full breath out, one more, arms stay straight, look to the top, step, float, skip, get their light, long spine on the extension, exhale, fold, root to rise, come all the way up, drag it to prayer, drop your arms, arms slide up, look up, dive again over bent knees, let your head go, come to the fingertips, set it up, step or float vinyasa. So you're adding your push up, upward facing slide you through, Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Come forward to plank. Hug your right knee towards your navel, scoop out your belly. Arms are straight up and down. Look forward with your eyes. Yeah. Activate your back left leg. Take your right knee in a little bit closer. Step the right foot all the way forward and through. So you're just in a low launch. Activate your back left leg. Feel your right hip hug in. And you want to feel like you're leading a little with your chest here. Yeah, and just be patient as the body kind of unravels itself. Yep, and then rise on your breath, crescent lunge, come up nice and slow. Good, the arms are energetically reaching up towards the sky and they're gonna try and stay that way, fix your eyes. Straighten the right leg on track about three quarters of the way. It's smart to not go pin straight so we don't go into the joint, okay? And then rebend heavy into the front thigh. Think small movement. Drop the left knee so it kind of slides straight down. It can just hover as much as you can maintain that. And then activate the leg and straighten. One more time, slow and steady. Straighten the right leg on track, just a little bit. Rebend. Drop the left knee so it hovers, it goes straight down. And then fire it up from the glute and pause, hold. Drag the hands to prayer. Lean out about two inches and air twist to the right. So it's like a hovering twist. Grip your right hip in. 
activate your back left leg and just try and look sideways, not back, because that, that takes the round out of the back. You're just in this hovering twist and you're starting to sweat probably. Look down, left hand tense. You could use a block, right arm peeled open into an easy twist. Oh, Jody got a block. I'm so proud of you. Laura here. You're welcome. Good. Scissor the inner thighs together. Watch that your right knee doesn't wing out. Yes. Activate your back leg a little bit more and twist a little deeper. Good. Eyes go to the floor, right hand comes down, pause. Keep your right foot where it is and just turn your back left foot on a strong angle. The second you do this, the right hip wants to pop out. Anna, try walking your right foot a little bit more to the right and make the other direction. Yeah, and then take your back leg a little further back to the back edge of the mat. There you go. And then arm sweep straight back, hover here. So think about the left side of your body spinning that forward. Yeah. And then root to rise warrior one. So just finding what works here, maybe pitching forward a little if it's sensitive in the lower back. Sometimes I get to warrior one and I'm like, okay, I have a little bit more room in, in length and I'm able to slide my right foot a little further forward. But some days it just needs to be shorter and tighter. Just be mindful. Energetically look up with your eyes, feel your feet on the floor and get a little heavier in your hips. And just breathe. Enjoy the sounds of silence. Hands come down to frame your front foot, plank position. Lower halfway to a push up. Slide yourself through a clean movement of a back bend, up dog or cobra. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Okay, so come forward to plank. Hug your left knee in and up. Scoop out the belly. Look forward with your eyes. Arms are straight up and down. Neck is nice and neutral. Back leg is strong. Press down. Keep looking forward. Step the left foot all the way forward and through. Arrange your feet and just pause for a second. Feel the length and the strength of the back right leg. Feel the left hip dripping in. Be on the fingertips and feel like you're leading a little with your chest. And then once you feel secure with your feet and legs, start to rise high lunge. Good. So then when you come up, the energy of the arms rise up. The hip points move forward. I'm gonna keep the arms going up as you straighten your left leg slowly on track about three quarters of the way. You're high on the ball of your back foot. You're gonna rebend into that front left thigh. You're gonna drop your right knee a little bit so it lengthens straight down. And then you're gonna fire it up from the glute and the hamstring without too much movement, it's hard. Straighten the left leg on track. Good, rebend. This is gonna be a heavy showering day, I could feel it. Yeah, lots of showers happening today or jump, jumping in the pool, lengthen the right leg down. Yeah, activate the back right leg and straighten, pause. I mean, it's always a heavy shower day for me. So now we're like moving on to like six of them. Drag the hands to prayer, lean forward a little and then air twist to the left. So just take a little baby twist. Just think of hovering and holding, gripping that left hip in, activating the back right leg and breathing here. Looking down, right hand down, left arm peels, go into your easy twist, slide a block underneath your hand, stack it up. Yeah, so be, be aware guys, because sometimes you get to easy twist and your lower back doesn't feel great. So know that you can take your left palm and have it on the lower part of your, of your left part of your back if it's too much, okay? Grip the hips in and breathe yourself open here. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Look down with your eyes, left hand comes down, pause. Keep the left foot where it is. Just turn your back foot on a strong angle without your left hip popping out. Take the right side of your body a little bit more forward. Reach your arms back and hover here. Press heavy through your legs and then root to rise, warrior one, and bring it up. And then just feel here and then iron it out. Maybe you've got a little wiggle room, whatever it is. Steer the right side of your body forward. So right ribs forward. Back foot press is firm. You should feel a pretty good stretch to the calf. And maybe look up a little with your eyes. Hands come down to frame your front foot. Move through a vinyasa. So plank position to a low push up, upward facing. Hips up and back, downward facing. Take a deep breath in. 
take a full breath out. Arms stay nice and straight. Look where you want to go. Step, float, skip, get there light. Long spine at the top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Good. Sit into chair. Weight moves into your heels. The chair pose. Yeah, sit a little heavier in your heels. Shoot up to stand up. Drag your hands to prayer. Drop your arms and stand for a second. So we're going to put it all together. These are called sun bees, okay? Arms slide straight up towards the sky. Sit heavy in your heels for chair. So stick your butt way back and sit chair pose. Good. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Let your head go. Long spine sets you up step or float through your vinyasa. Upward facing pulls you through. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Downward facing, hips press back. Right foot lands, back foot turns. Warrior one, come on up. Yeah. Hands back down to frame your front foot, move through a vinyasa or opt to just go to a down dog if you're not feeling it today. When you arrive, the left foot lands, the back foot turns, rise on your breath, warrior one. Hands come back down to the ground, move through a vinyasa. Upward facing pulls you through, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Take a full breath out. Good, arms stay nice and straight. Look where you wanna go. Step or float, top of the mat. Long spine when you arrive, fold in half. Sit into chair, weight moves into your heels. Stick your butt way back. Shoot up to stand up, drag it to prayer, drop your arms from the top. Arms slide straight up towards the sky. Sit heavy in your heels, chair. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips to prepare, step or float through your vinyasa. Just keep it moving, it's a sufficient movement. Up dog, hips up and back, down dog. Right foot lands, back foot turns, anchor and rise on your breath, warrior one. Back down we go, be patient as you move slowly. Up dog is smooth, hips up and back, down dog. Left foot lands, back foot turns, rise. Come on up. Hands back down on your breath, on your movement. Up dog. Hips up and back down dog. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Look where you want to go. Step or float, top of mat. Long spine weight is forward. Exhale, fold. Sit into your heels, chair. Shoot up to stand up, jag it to prayer, drop your arms. Keep going, arms up, heavy in your heels chair. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips, long spine, step or float through a vinyasa. Upward facing pulls you through. Good work, hips up and back, down dog. Keep it going, right foot lands, back foot turns, warrior one, come on up. Back down we go through a vinyasa. Slow it down, up dog, hip back, down dog. Left foot lands, back foot turns, rise, feel and hold for two breaths. Yeah. Back down we go through your vinyasa. Chaturanga push up, upward facing point, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Good, hop your feet through your hands, land your back. Bend your knees in half like this. Pull your chest up and pause. You can also have your hands behind your head if it just like kind of bothers your neck. Good, anchor through your lower belly. Lift your legs on an angle that works for you. Keep the lift of the shoulders and the arms moving forward. Rebend the legs, anchor the feet. Lift your hips up, your shoulders up higher and reach your arms more forward. Exhale the breath, let it go. Here we go, pull yourself up. Lift your legs on an angle that works. 
Rebend the legs, lift yourself up higher, but you're lifting from deep in front of your, inside your core muscles. Let it go on the exhale breath. Pull yourself up, keep going like this. Lift your legs on an angle that works. Rebend the legs, lift higher. Exhale, let it go. One more, pull it up. Lift the legs on an angle that hurts, oh, that hurts, that hell, hurts for you, that hurts. Here goes our car engine. Rebend the legs, lift higher. Exhale, let it go. Pull yourself up. See if you can rock up to boat Navasana. Eyes of the shoulders lift. Yeah, you can have your hands behind your thighs. It's helpful sometimes. That's it. Hold. Yeah, perfect. The biggest thing, Jody, is you want to feel this in your low back. You want to feel it in your belly. That's why the suggestion of having the legs bent is very helpful. Like, get over it. If you take the hands down, you may be able to straighten your legs more, but whatever. Cross the ankles, step or float, or maybe take a sweaty crawl back, chaturanga. Yeah. <laughs> Upward facing pulls you through. Hips up and back, downward facing. The right foot lands, come into a crescent lunge, please. Rise. Yeah. Drag your hands to prayer. Lean out, hook the elbow and twist. Any variation of this works great. So see if you can let your back heel Laura pop up off the ground. Yeah, so keep spinning the heel, the left heel up. There you go. So you're more in a lunge. You're gonna get that hamstring release. That's it. You can even rest your elbow on the top of your thigh and that may be a good spot for today. I'm gonna get my oldest son on the phone for his visiting day call. And I'm gonna be asking him all the questions of things that are wrong in the house from a technology standpoint. Like, why can't I fix the air conditioning in my car? What's wrong with the speaker in this room? Right, I forget how camp is. Like I'm having some major issues at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The lights in the car are one color they need to change. I mean, like I'm so messed up. Look sideways, look up, keep twisting. Stay with it guys, grip your right hip in, activate your back leg and lean back just a tiny bit to get in there a little more. Let the hands come down to frame your front foot, pause. Keep your right foot where it is, turn your back foot on a strong angle like this. Slide your right hand onto your right shin and come into a triangle from the ground up. For some reason this feels awkward, doesn't work for you. You can always pull yourself out of the pose and reset. If you're gonna go for the block using it, take it to the outside of your calf, yeah. And you can place it the highest direction. Just slide it back enough so it's under your shoulder. There you go, perfect. Cause you're trying to create a series of triangles in your body here. There's a lift of your side ribs. Good, stack it up a little more. Maybe look up with your eyes or look sideways. Feel, feel the, the, the ground beneath you. Feel your inner and outer thighs hugging together. Look down, using your block, float up into a balance called Ardhan Trindrasana half moon pose. I like to take the block the highest setting, enough forward and over to the right that your side ribs are long. Left hand can be on hip or you can stack it up with your left arm up towards the sky, you pick. Lift from your inner thigh, look sideways, look up. And if your balance kind of takes you out, reset, try again. Right foot is forward, hip grips in. If you're okay here and you want to add in a little bind, kick the left heel in towards the left butt cheek. Reach with your left hand. This is called Chopasana and it's optional. Just work basic. If you're not feeling it today. Just work basic. Regular half moon, if you added anything fun in. And then think about the transition as its own pose. Look down, take a giant step back triangle. Grab the front of your shin and pull up and recreate the shape right here. 
You got it. But if it didn't work out, it's okay. You just recreate it in your own way. Lean back a little. Two more breaths. Good, eyes go to the floor, both hands come down, step to a plank, yeah, kill bugs as we go. Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing, hips up and back, downward facing. Step the left foot forward, crescent lunge, come on up. They're very annoying and they're everywhere. Back heel is lifted, yeah. Hip points are forward, so your whole body is kind of steering forward. Drag your hands to prayer. Lean out. You can rest your elbow on the top of the thigh. You can air twist or you can hook, depending on how this feels. We getting juicy? Getting a little juicy. Yeah. You want to grip your left hip in, activate your back leg, lean back a little. So the crown of the head lines up with your back heel. Yeah, go hand on the instep of the foot. Use the block. You might get sprayed with the pool thing. Yeah. You want me to take it out of the pool and spray you all? Yeah. Get a water gun. Use your breath. Hook in and twist. Stay with it. Couple more. Eyes meet the floor. Hands come down. Pause. Keep the left foot where it is. Turn your back foot on a strong angle. Make sure you intersect heel to arch. Pull up on the front of the shin and open up into triangle like this. Using a block is really helpful, especially if the lower back feels sensitive in the pose. Yeah. Perfect. And play with this play of where the block should be because if it's directly underneath the shoulder, you're going to definitely be set up for success here. If you're holding the front of your shin, feel like you're pulling up on the pant leggings. Jody, move the block towards the other side of your leg and take it high. Good, and then slide it back two inches closer towards, towards you. Yep, and then look up. So you, you do all this work, then you find the posture, then you have to hold it. Hug the outer hips in, feel the length of your side obliques and core working. Good, look down, float up seamlessly, Arden Chandrasana half moon. Just move the block with you enough forward and over to the left that you can find balance. Lift from your inner right thigh. Sometimes it's seamless, sometimes it takes five, six, seven tries to get in. Breathe yourself open right here, spark up your right toes. Lift from your inner thigh and then add in the bind if you're feeling it today. Grab the right foot with the right hand and kick behind you. Nice work, stay with it. Get a little lighter maybe in your bottom hand. Regular half moon if you added in anything. You got it. And then really focus on that standing left leg. Look down and take a giant step back triangle. There you go. Good work. Yeah. Pull up on the front of the shin, lean back a little bit and look up. Two more. Look to the floor, circle the right hand down, step your feet to the top of the mat for me. Come to the fingertips, long spine, exhale, fold into yourself, sit into chair pose, weight moves into your heels. Yeah, stick your butt way, way back. Drag your hands to prayer, inhale the breath, hook the elbow, twist to the right now. So this pose, know that it can always be done with a separation between your two feet. What's most important is that your two hips and your knees and your feet all stay lined up. Open up your arms if you have a little bit more range of motion or just stay as you are. Heavy in your heels. The breath is flowing.
chair pose, pull it around. Stay heavy in your heels, guys. Sit a little deeper, drag your hands to prayer. Inhale the breath, hook and twist to the left. Did you see there's a like major waiting list to get tickets for Bruce for next year? I got an email saying, you couldn't even get on the, the pre-sale list. Yeah. I got an email saying that, yeah. It doesn't matter. They had so much registration, they're overwhelmed. Weight in the heels, twist open. Stay with it guys, maybe open the arms, last few breaths. Heavy in your legs, chair pose, recreate the shape. So really sick guys, plant the hands. And if you have a jump back, jump here or just step back to a chaturanga. You got it, that was good stuff. It's more of an ashtangi jump back. Up dog, pulls you through. Hips up and back, downward facing. Breathe your right leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Yeah, come forward and drag your right knee to the back of your right tricep in the direction. So try not to open the hip, just kind of lift it to the back of the upper part of your right tricep. Scoop out the belly, extend your right leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Take your right knee, now come forward across your body in a plank position so it looks like this, right knee to the inside of the left elbow, and then straighten out the leg and fall in triangle so it looks like this. You can also just drop your knee down and take a modified side plank. You got it, Laura, perfect. All sorts of things happening here in this backyard, yes. Lift up from your bottom hip to your top hip. Lift a little higher, you got it, Amy. Nice work, look up. Left hand down, square off the leg, extend the right leg back, up and back, and then come forward, hug your right knee straight in, and step the right foot smack in between the hands. Turn the back foot on a strong angle. If you have a block nearby, place it to the instep of your right foot at any level that works for you. The right hand goes down, the left arm extends up. Yeah, this is one of my favorite ways to get into this pose. Yes. You're heavy in that right thigh. Laura, take a bigger step and I think you'll have more success there. Yeah, lean back a little. Now, with the left arm, if you want, you can wrap it behind you, you can take it to your hip. and peel open. Yeah, lean back a little. So you get your collarbone to open, you look over your left shoulder and you twist. Heavy in that right thigh, you got it. Stay with it. Three more breaths. Try not to fight it, try to enjoy it. Unravel up warrior two and settle in here for five breaths. Extend openness across your torso and your chest. Get heavy in the standing right thigh. Lengthen the tailbone down. And then immediately just close your eyes and let yourself just go into a yoga trance. So try not to do the angry yoga. Just breathe right here. Wrap your inner right thigh open and lengthen your tailbone. Just try and ride it out here, ladies. You're doing great. A few more breaths. Blink the eyes open, flip the palm and create a reverse warrior. It's a side body opening, not a back bend. Circle to the floor through a vinyasa and keep yourself moving. Chaturanga push up, up dog or cobra, or take it all out. Hips up and back, down dog. Breathe your left leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Just lift it hip height. Come forward to plank and take your left knee to the back of your left tricep. So keep the hip even. Arms straight up and down and back leg strong and straight. Breathe your left leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Come forward to plank and take your right, your left knee to the right inside of that right elbow, cross it over and then straighten out the leg for fallen triangle. Turn your back foot like a warrior two and you should be on the outer blade of your left foot. As you stack it up, look up. You can always take supported side plank. Lift up a little higher from bottom hip to top hip. 
right hand down, extend your left leg up and back, three-legged down dog. It's just to kind of clear it out. Come forward, hugging your left knee straight in. And then step the foot forward and through. Turn the back foot on a strong angle. Yeah, take the left palm down onto the floor or the block and open it up to an extended side angle B from the inside from the ground up. Yeah. So take a bigger, longer step, guys. Yeah. Use the back of the left tricep to caddy against the inside of the left arm. And then add a half bind or just your hand to your hip. So I think this pose feels really good when you get into it the right way. So think about not cranking yourself into the pose, like one of those jack in the boxes that's just gonna like bounce out. Right, do it slow enough that you can breathe yourself, your collarbone, everything open, grip the left hip underneath you and turn your bottom ribs. Stay with it, a few more breaths. Warrior two, pull it up. Arrange your stance so it's long enough and wide enough. Breathe your collarbone and your chest open. Look towards that movie, movie screen, yep. Get heavy in that standing front side. Jody, turn your right toes in a little. There you go, that's gonna help. And then sit down into that side. There you go, that's the hip opener right there. And then close your eyes and hold here. Stay with it. Link your eyes open, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. It's a side body opening. So you lean back a little, go the other direction, Amanda. Your right hand to the back of your right thigh and then you lean back, there you go. Yeah, you got it, perfect. Circle to the floor, vinyasa. Top dog pulls you through. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Stay with me, ladies. We're getting there. Look to the top of the mat, step or float, feet there. Long spine when you arrive, exhale, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag your hands to prayer, drop your arms and just stand for a beat. Close your eyes for a second and just feel. Feel your breath, feel your body. Good, blink your eyes open, stand on your right leg. Take your left leg up and just create a 90 degree angle like this. Yeah, just a 90 degree angle like this. So you're gonna take your right hand to the outside of that left thigh, just like this. And then you're gonna peel your left arm back into a dancing Shiva version here. If you know you have the range of motion to grab the outer part of your left, left foot with your right hand, go ahead and grab down and get hold of it. And then the next step would be to extend the leg forward. But what I'm trying to explain is that this pose can be done and mastered with a leg bent just in half. Good, look sideways, look back, stand up nice and tall, wherever you are. Breathe yourself open. Stay upright, guys. Just look forward with your eyes, pull around, bend your left leg back in half so we're all together and bring your arms back up so you're forward. So you're working your hip flexor, you're working your core, spark up your left toes, wrap your left thigh around your right, and then wrap your left arm under. Eagle. And if this doesn't feel good in your shoulders, just give yourself a bear hug. Heavy in your standing right heel, stick your butt way back. Swing your knees a little bit to the left. Yeah. Get heavier in the standing right heel and lift the elbows up. Stay with me. Squeeze the legs, just unravel the arms. You're gonna unleash to a warrior one, okay? Take a giant step back, warrior one. Walk the right foot a little to the right. Drop your arms by your side body, clasp your hands. Inhale your breath. Exhale, come into a humble warrior here and fold. Let your head go. Your stomach can just rest on the top of the thigh or you're welcome to snuggle in there a little. But everything is steering forward, so you're not opening your hips. Let your head just drop and feel your feet on the floor. Feel your right hip grip in. Press heavy through your legs, lift the torso up. Good, unleash your arms, warrior one, with your arms moving up, straighten your right leg on track. Scoot your back foot into about an inch or so, okay? 
whole body is facing forward, right hand on hip, left arm stays energetically reaching up. Come halfway down, steer your right hip back, definitely reach for a block, place it in the direction that works on the instep of the foot and move yourself into a twisting triangle. I like my hand on the lower part of my back. This kind of gives me good information. You got it. You got it, Laura. Turn your back toes a little bit more forward towards the house and step it in a little closer. So even turn the toes more forward. There, perfect. See what I mean? And then that, that neutralized you. And then maybe the right arm can stack open, but that's kind of a personal thing. Like, I don't know how your shoulder feels, but breathe yourself open here. Steer the hips back, energetically feel the spine moving forward and stack it up. Three more breaths. Eyes go to the floor, right hand comes down. Step hips width distance, top of mat. Stand the long spine on the inhale, ex strong extension. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag it to prayer at the top, drop your arms. Standing on your left leg, just draw your right knee up. So everything's in steps. So don't feel overwhelmed by the process or the flow, how things kind of you know, melt together. So left hand to the outside of that right thigh is a great place to start and the right arm peels back. Staying here is solid. If you wanna reach down and grab the outer blade of your foot and kick the leg forward and through, it is optional, but I'd rather you be in the modified version and be in a good alignment than be in a more advanced version of this and be sloppy. Look sideways, maybe look back into that right hand. Stand up a little taller and breathe. Keep the leg up, don't let it drop. Just look forward with your eyes. Bring your arms up towards the sky and everybody rebound the right thigh and just pause. Feel the lift of the core, the obliques. Wrap the right thigh around the left, wrap the right arm underneath. Eagle, go the other direction, Joe, right thigh over, yes. And then sit heavy in that standing left heel. Steer the knees a little to the right, lengthen as you sit down a little deeper. Lift the elbows up. Look forward with your eyes. Keep the leg squeezing tight, just unravel your arms, just do that much. Guide your light, right leg back, warrior one. Take a nice big step. Make sure the back toes are enough forward and the whole body is forward, there you go. Drop the arms, clasp the hands, good luck remembering what you picked the first time around, but go the opposite if you can remember. Inhale the breath, lift. Exhale, come forward into humble. So you can opt for stomach just resting on thigh or snuggle your left shoulder in. Just make sure your left hip doesn't wing out. Let the head hang heavy. And pause here and just breathe. Go in a little deeper. Strong in your legs, start to bring your torso up, up, up. Unravel your arms, warrior one. Keep the arms moving up, straighten your left leg on track. Step your right foot in about an inch or so. Make sure the right toes are pretty much completely forward and the right side of the body is forward. Left hand to hip, come halfway down. You wanna reach out with your back leg and your right arm, reach for a block and set it up for twisting triangle. Hand can go to the flat part of your back. That would be your left hand. And rather than looking all the way back, just look sideways and then look up and then stack it up if you're ready. These look really good. Squeeze your outer hips in and twist open right here. Feel like someone's got you by a bungee cord and they're pulling your hips to the back edge of the mat and your spine is leashing forward. Twist a little deeper. Good, hands to frame your front foot, step to a plank. Lower halfway to a push up. Drag yourself through a smooth, clean back bend. Up dog, cobra, you pick. Hips up and back, downward facing. In this down dog, drop your forearms down and interlace your hands. Tighten up the stance into a forearm down dog known as a dolphin. The trick with dolphin is that your elbows shouldn't be super wide. Like, yeah, you gotta bring them a little closer. And then once you create the shape, start to walk your feet a little closer towards your elbows. You might surprise yourself. 
wrap the outsides of the triceps in and make sure the crown of the head isn't touching the ground. If you can breathe your right leg up to hip height, do so. If not, just stay. Scissor your inner thighs and lift your right leg a little higher. Slowly lower the right leg down. Breathe your left leg up and back to a three-legged dolphin pose. Scissor your inner thighs, press down. Slowly lower your left leg down, dolphin pose. Walk out to forearm plank, five, six breaths here. Lengthen the tailbone. Good, fix your eyes on something a little forward. Grip the lower belly in, broaden the collarbone and the chest. Stay with it. Without too much movement happening here, one hand at a time, plank position. That was pretty, down dog. Right knee forward, half pigeon. Yeah, sometimes it's just not pretty and there's no way around being pretty in yoga. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not always graceful, it's okay. Fold. If you're sweating, enjoy it. Let yourself just fall into the mat and let the right hip soften and open. Start to come up nice and slow, lean onto the right side and swing your left leg forward like a little tree. So it looks like this. Right hand comes behind you with the crease of your wrist facing the back skinny edge of the mat. Lift up to sail pose. The left arm wraps up and back. The left foot can go flat to the ground if that's available. Lift your hips as high as they're going to go. Lower your hips down with control. Swing your right knee forward. Step your left foot around for Ardha Matsandrasana. This is known as seated spine twist. Yes. I like to hug my top leg with my right arm. You got it. So the, the right leg is down and the left leg is around. You got it. And then hug it in with your right arm and then look towards the back, look into the woods. Go the other direction, Lauren. You're in good shape. Yep. There you go. And this stretch is not, this only, not only lengthens and stretches out the spine, you can't really stretch the spine, you stretch the, the ribs, the ribs and the intercostals. But I like it because it gives you a piriformis stretch, which is really hard area to, to get. Come around to center. Okay, so you're going to take your right shin so it's parallel to the front edge of the mat and the left leg's going to come on top. This is called double pigeon. And if you've just gone anywhere, even 20 minutes in the car, you're going to feel something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for some reason, this really doesn't work. The external rotation, you're welcome to just take a regular cross leg, like, you know, see the twist here. So flex the foot. You guys all seem to have this, so it's fine. Slide the left foot out a more so it lines up with the top of that right knee because you're creating a box with your legs. Mm -hmm. Stretch the arm straight up towards the sky. And if you have it in you, you can start to fold. And then breathe. The more you flex your feet, the more you're going to feel in those outer hips. Okay. 
pull the torso up, unravel the legs, take the feet flat to the ground. Fingers will face you this time. Exhale the breath, lift up to reverse tabletop, anchor the feet, wrap the inner thighs down and under. You can look down the center line of the body if your neck doesn't feel great here. Exhale the breath, lower the butt down, cross the ankle, step or float through a vinyasa. Upward facing pulls you through, press even through the hands of the tops of the feet. Hips up and back, down dog. Left knee slides forward, half pigeon on this side. Let your body just absorb the pose and just fall into it. So at the end of the practice, sometimes you're like all in. Sometimes you start to wander out. Know that both those things are normal. So wherever you're at, it's fine. Just try and you know check back into this pose. Go in a little deeper because you can. Pull the torso up. Okay, swing your right leg around, little tree, baby tree pose. Left hand behind you, the crease of the wrist faces the back skinny edge of the mat, the right leg's out on an angle and the left leg's bent in, you got it. So it's like a little tree with your legs. And you're gonna lift up and back into sail pose. If you can get your right foot flat, that's great. Exhale the breath, start to lower, come down slow. When you arrive down, swing your left knee forward, okay? It's the left knee forward and the right leg steps around to the outside of the thigh. Give your left, right leg a squeeze with your left arm, right hand behind you, inhale the breath, lengthen up. Exhale, look over the shoulder, twist. And the more you hug that leg in, the more you're gonna feel through that outer hip. Good, come back through center. Bring your left shin as close to, you know, perpendicular to the front of the mat as you can get. Cross the right ankle over the top, the thigh, and see if you could stack them up. It's really good. So sometimes you get to this pose and your leg is way up high because you're really, really tight, but these look really good. Good, inhale the breath, flex the feet strong. Arms go straight up towards the sky and then you can start to fold forward. You may feel more or less on one side than the other. Going a little deeper. Good, start to pull the torso up, unravel your legs, take your feet flat to the floor, fingertips face you, inhale the breath, on the exhale breath lift up, reverse tabletop. Outer triceps grip in, inner thighs wrap down and under, press firm through all four points of your feet and lift up. Exhale the breath, lower down, and just kind of wrap yourself up into a little ball and squeeze, squeeze in. Open up to Navasana boat pose. Yeah, hug in, don't let your feet touch, round in. Just like this a few more times, open it up into your version of Navasana, pretty or ugly, doesn't matter. Hug in, don't let your feet touch, squeeze. Open up boat Navasana. One more hug in, squeeze tight. Don't let the feet touch if you can. Open up boat Navasana. Lower low boat. Back of the shoulders lift. Legs are hovering. Lower bed at belly spreads. Palms face open. Hold here for five. 
for four, for three, for two, and one. Release down to the ground. Bend the knees in half. All of you have a block. Take a block underneath your lower back, okay? Lift the tailbone up and shove the block underneath at any height. Interlace the hands around the block for supported bridge. Cup the shoulder blades together. Stay here for five breaths, and then I'll give you the option to lift the legs up towards the sky. You got it, feel that? One leg at a time, lift the legs up towards the sky. Flex the feet so they're directly over your hips. So both legs can go up now at the same time. Perfect. And the knees are gonna have a little bend if it's too much. Bend the knees in half, take the feet back down to the floor, then remove the block from, out, from underneath you. Good. Lower the hips down, hug the knees in towards the chest, give them a big squeeze, and take a happy baby. Outer blades of your feet, pull your, your knees down, round, and open. Hug the knees in towards the chest. And you're gonna slide yourself out into Shavasana, complete rest. Complete rest is where we're going here. Shavasana. Take a big breath in, take a full exhale breath out. Wiggle your fingers and your toes and then reach your arms way up over the top of your head towards the back edge of the mat. And then hug your knees in tight across your body and wrap in like a little ball. Use that energy to rock yourself up to face forward with your eyes closed and just sit up nice and tall. Sit up nice and tall and feel. Let your shoulders draw down your back and feel your energy, feel the lightness of your mind. Hopefully we got there. Drag the hands to prayer, bow your head for a second and have some gratitude. Lift the head, open the eyes, namaste. Good work guys, it was a little sweaty. You worked hard. We'll do it again tomorrow.